Hello guys! Today I will show you how to create your own cover in Photoshop. We will do something like this. First of all, we need to choose an animation with which our characters will pose for the cover. Then we are going to put our characters on the white background. The next step is to create suitable outfits. As soon as you are done with positioning your characters, take a screenshot from your phone. Then open Photoshop, create an image with the same size as the screenshot and make the background transparent. Paste your screenshot and start cleaning it with polygonal lasso tool.
Now we need to create a new image with the size of a cover. It will be 420 to 580. Make the background transparent as well. Paste your characters. And let's find some background. I use pixabay.com. It's a website with free backgrounds and images. Okay, I'm gonna just copy it and paste it right in Photoshop. Let's blur it a bit. And let's create some shadows for the title, so the title won't be mixed with the overall image. I'm going to do this with the gradient tool. We are going to smooth the edge with an eraser. Oh, sorry, I just noticed that my Photoshop switched to Russian. I'm going to fix this. And now I want to make the shadow brighter and more vivid. Let's play with opacity. Let's put the same shadow on the top as well. And let's change the coloring of the background so it will fit the red theme. Now we need to create a title overlay. For this we need some beautiful font. There is a website which is called 1001freefonts.com. Uh, you can download some from from there. I like this one. And maybe this one. Okay. I think this two will do. Extract the fonts. Search for the fonts folder on your computer and copy the fonts there. You don't need to restart Photoshop, the fonts should already be there.
I'm going to color the title with the gradient tool. For this we need to create a new layer. Then select the space around the title. Choose the color. And create a gradient. Rasterize the title uh, layer and create a clipping mask from the gradient. Here we have it. You can change the color here. Let's add a little volume by creating a small shadow. For this we need to duplicate the title overlay and make it black and then blur it with the blur tool. We can also create a shadow for the characters. The steps are the same. Let's add red shadows from the sides as well. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad, I think. Hope you liked it as well. See you in the next video tutorial.